everybody, Tony Bonvecchio here, and today we're gonna talk about everybody's favorite upper body exercise, the bench press. Now, believe it or not, if you do the bench press the right way, it's a full body exercise. If you wanna move as much weight as possible, you got to use your legs. So today, Sean is gonna help me show you how to get leg drive in your bench press. So, he's gonna get his grip on the bar, and if you're vertically challenged like Sean or myself, the best way to leg drive is with your heels up and your toes on the floor. So he's gonna walk his heels back underneath his hips. He's got the balls of his feet on the floor. And as he unracks the bar and brings it down to his chest, he's gonna squeeze his butt as tight as he can. Then as he drives back up, he's gonna try to stomp his heels to the floor while also trying to squeeze the bench with his thighs. So he's keeping nice and tight on the bench, driving those heels to the floor to help him push all his energy back towards the bar. That's gonna help drive the bar off the chest, making it easier to get to lock out. Now, sometimes cranking your heels under your hips like this can be kind of tough on your hips. It can kind of hurt a little bit. Or if you have longer legs and it's tough for you to get underneath the bench, you can also walk your feet out a little bit wider and get your heels flat on the ground. Now keep in mind, the action of the leg drive is gonna be slightly different here. So now as he brings the bar down to his chest, he's gonna to try to spread the floor apart much like you would on a squat. He's trying to drive his feet out and his knees out. Then as he presses the bar back up, he's gonna to try to drive his toes to the ends of his shoes almost like he was doing a leg extension on the way up. So same idea, using all that lower body energy to drive the bar back and help for a stronger lockout. So give that a try next time you bench press, get your legs into it, I promise you're gonna press more weight.